Hi, I'm Mark from Platinum LED Grill Lights. Today we're going to be par testing and showing our P600 LED light. We're going to show you how Platinum LED Grill Lights are literally the most powerful LED grill lights on the market today, thanks to the highest par per watts consumed of any other LED grill light. Our P600 is an extremely versatile unit, good for everything from smaller grows to the largest ones imaginable by scaling them side by side. While using only roughly 356 watts of power, we can meet or exceed roughly 800 watts of HPS power. It utilizes 200 3 watt diodes in a perfect array and blend of 12 different bands of spectral output to give the most efficient growing power possible. For the purposes of this test, we're going to be using three pieces of equipment. An Apogee MQ200 par meter, an industry standard, an NPR Tech spectrum analyzer, and a kilowatt meter to verify the wattage draw. We're gonna be actually only using three hanging heights for this tar test, because at six inches, we've already maxed out our MQ200. So at 12 inches, 18 inches, and 24 inches, here in our standardized four by grow tent, we're also only gonna be showing the center point for the purposes of the video, but you're welcome to come to our website at platinumgrowlights.com for the full footprint output, as well as seeing our other lights. All right, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna verify the wattage draw, moving anywhere between 345 and 346, all right? First stop here is at 12 inches. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna verify that hanging height. You'll see we're at 12 inches. Next thing we're gonna do is kick on our MQ200. You'll see that we're hitting right about at 1605 micromoles. All right, next stop, 18 inches. Second stop here is 18 inches of hanging height. Again, as always, what we're gonna do is we're gonna verify that hanging height, 18 inches. Then we're gonna go ahead and kick on our power meter. And you'll see that we're hitting right about 1160 micromoles. All right, next up, last stop, 24 inches. Last stop here is at 24 inches. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna verify that. We'll see that we are at 24 inches. We're gonna go ahead and kick on our MQ200. And you'll see that we're hitting right about 840 micromoles. Now the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and give a little spectral readout here with our UPR tech monitor. We'll get it under here, give it a fresh hit of the button. And we'll see that our spectral output is the most complete possible thanks to the 12 bands of output. All right, that's gonna wrap up our PAR test here. Feel free to come to our website anytime to see the full footprint and the rest of our grow lights at platinumgrowlights.com. We will show you that platinum LED grow lights are the most powerful LED grow lights on the market today, the highest PAR per watts of any other LED lights. As a special bonus, what we wanted to show you with the P600 is this is the most ideal setup for a 4x4 available in the market today. By positioning two P600 units side by side, you're getting roughly 1600 watts of HPS power while using far less than half of that. This provides the most even coverage, most penetration power, and absolute maximum yielding situation for a 4x4 grow tent. Highly recommended. Hi, I'm Mark from Platinum LED Grow Lights. And today we're gonna to have a little bit of fun. We're gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison test of two LED grow lights, the Mars 2 700 watt and the Platinum LED P450. What we like to show you is that wattage draw does not equal final output power. You can have some lights that use more wattage but actually generate far less PAR, when PAR is the most important factor in the LED grow light intensity. As we all know, PAR stands for photosynthetic active radiation, which is a measure of an LED grow light's power. This coupled with the spectral output gives you an equality LED grow light. For specifications, we have the Mars 2, consuming roughly around 294 watts and using 145 watt diodes. The Platinum LED P450 consumes roughly around 255 watts and uses 153 watt diodes. We're gonna be using three different pieces of equipment for this test. We're gonna be using an Apogee MQ200 par meter, an industry standard. We're going to be using an UPR Tech spectrum analyzer, and we're going to be using a kilowatt meter to test the actual wattage draw. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna verify the wattage draw. The wattage draw of the Mars 2 is reading in right about 289, 290 watts. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give a center par test reading at 18 inches of height. We'll go ahead and we'll verify that to be 18 inches right there. We'll kick on our MQ200, and we'll see that the PAR reading is right at about 707 micromoles at 18 inches of hanging height. 
Then we'll give a quick spectral analysis using our UPR tech monitor. Shoot it under here. And here we go. Two distinct pinks, blue and red. All right, now time for the Platinum LED P450. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna verify the wattage draw, which we show to be right here at about 253 watts of usage. All right. Next thing we're gonna do after that is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give a little spectral readout using our UPR tech monitor. Fresh press the button. And you can see that thanks to the 12 bands of spectral output, we offer the most efficient, complete spectrum possible. Big difference. The very last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and par test the light. We're gonna verify the hanging height to be 18 inches. And then we're gonna go ahead and we're going to kick on our MQ200. You'll see that we're reading right around between 1330 and 1340 micromoles. So as you can see, you can have two lights, one drawing more power, but putting out around half the actual PAR output. This is why wattage draw does not equal the final growing power. PAR is the measurement of final growing power. Couple this with the spectral output, and this is what delivers a quality LED grow light. To learn more about our P450, as well as the rest of our LED grow lights, please come to PlatinumGrowLights.com, where we'll show you why we are the most powerful LED grow lights, the highest PAR output per watts consumed, with the most complete spectrum on the market. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Mark from Platinum LED Grow Lights, and today we're going to have some fun. We're doing a five-way comparison test between five different LED grow lights, all consuming roughly about the same amount of power, all using roughly about the same amount of diodes, albeit some with a higher wattage rating than others. What we're going to show you is that primarily wattage draw does not dictate the actual growing power of an LED grow light. There's only two factors that dictate the actual growing power. Number one, how bright it actually is, regardless of how many watts it's consuming. And number two, what the actual spectrum output is of the actual light. This is important because we know what green chlorophyll physically absorbs. So the entire strength of LED grow lights is to put out a spectral output that matches that as close as possible. It's efficiency. A bright light that puts out an efficient light. That's an LED grow light. To gather this data, we're going to be using three different pieces of equipment. Number one, primarily, a PAR meter, the Apogee MQ200, which is an industry standard. We're going to use the same meter for all different lights. Regardless of the manufacturer of the PAR meter, it gives us a benchmark by which we can compare all lights equally. For the spectrum analysis, we're going to be using a UPR Tech spectrometer. Again, a very complete spectrometer. Number three, we'll be using a simple kilowatt meter so we can verify the actual wattage draw of each different light, regardless of the actual wattage rating of the diode that they're using. All right, now let's go to the contenders. First up, on the left, we have the Mars Hydro 300 watt light using 65 watt diodes. Now, before we begin with any of them again, we're gonna verify the hangout here is, in fact, 18 inches across the board. All lights, even. All right, now, the wattage draw of the Mars is coming in, even for a 300 watt light, around 128 actual watts. As far as the PAR output, we'll turn on our PAR meter here. In the center point, it's reading right around 345 micromoles. Now that's the intensity level. Let's see the actual spectral output. We'll get a fresh hit here from our spectrometer. You'll see that we have a toothpick in the blue and red. Not much happening else elsewhere. All right, on to the next one. Next up, second from the left, we have our Galaxy Hydro 300 watt light, this time using 103 watt diodes. First of all, we're gonna verify the wattage draw. You'll see it's pulling right around 139, 140 watts. Second, we're gonna par test it. What's the actual light intensity of it? 
we'll see that it's pulling right around 234, 235 micromoles. Last but not least, we're gonna give an actual spectral analysis. You'll see that this light is extremely red heavy with barely anything else happening down low. All right, now onto the Kind L300. This light uses 93 watt diodes. Very first thing we're gonna do again is verify the wattage draw. This one comes in at 178 watts. This is possibly due to Kind's advertising that they overdrive their LEDs to draw more power. What's the actual PAR output? Well, the center point reads 714, 715 micromoles. What's the actual spectral output? Let's give it a spectrometer test. You'll see we do have a little more complete spectrum. We're hitting reds and blues. All right, on to the next. Fourth on the list is our Solar Spec by Mari 150. This light actually uses 66 watt diodes. Let's see how it measures out. First of all, the wattage draw, we'll see it comes in at around 157 watts. Second, the PAR test. Center point PAR, you can write about 723 micromoles. Last, but definitely not least, we'll do an actual spectrum analysis. Here we go. The interesting thing about this light and why we decided to include it is this is a white-based light. As we know, the entire efficiency about LED grill lights revolves around the light that you're putting out actually being absorbed by green chlorophyll. We know what that curve is. We know one color they don't absorb much of is green. So you gotta remember that not only is the intensity level important, but the actual spectral analysis and how this relates to the efficiency with what the plants are physically absorbing. This is why white LEDs by nature are inefficient. All right, last but definitely not least, we have the Platinum LED P300 using 103 watt diodes. First, of course, we're gonna verify the wattage draw. We'll see the actual wattage draw is somewhere right around 180, 182 watts. Second, we're gonna verify the center point par like all the other lights. We'll see we're hitting right around 1180 micromoles, 1177, 1180. Last, we're gonna give an actual spectral readout. We'll do a fresh hit right off the UPR tech. And we'll see that we're pulling all the way across the complete range from UV to infrared, exactly matching as close as possible what green chlorophyll is physically absorbing. This gives us our spectral efficiency. So here you have it, five somewhat similar lights, all drawing roughly about the same amount of power, all using roughly about the same kind of diodes, but with completely different outputs. Remember, the two most important things when evaluating the strength of any type of horticultural light is how bright it is and what the actual spectral output is. What we submit to you is that in any price range, our LED grill lights are the most powerful LED grill lights on the market today, thanks to the highest par per watt with the most complex perfected spectrum. What we also submit to you is there's absolutely no value in a cheaper LED grill light. You're wasting time, money, and yield. And any money that you think you saved on the initial purchase price, you're now costing many times over in your lowered yields, lowered output, and your time wasted and spent. For a more expensive LED grill light, we can see that price does not dictate the actual quality or the actual output. You're simply putting the money in the pockets of others, in the hydro stores and the manufacturers. These types of tests are a great indicator of the components contained within a manufacturer's grow light. We know that, for example, in ours, we use the same exact diodes, the same exact drivers throughout our entire product line. This assures consistent quality and consistently the highest par per watt of any other LED grow light, along with the most perfected, efficient 12 band spectral output. Platinum LED grow lights are the most powerful LED grow lights today with the highest par per watt any other LED grow light and that perfected 12-band spectrum. Thanks so much.